I can see what you see not. Vision milky, then eyes rot. When you turn, they will be gone, whispering their hidden song. Then you see what cannot be. Shadows move where light should be. Out of darkness, out of mind, cast down into the halls of the blind. You recite an interesting rhyme written in a style that reminds me of other works. Let me think now. What was it? Darkness shrouds the hidden, eyes glowing unseen, with only the sounds of razor claws briefly scraping to torment those poor souls who have been made sightless for all eternity. The prison for those so damned is named the Halls of the Blind. This does seem familiar somehow. I seem to recall reading something very much like that poem while researching the history of demonic afflictions. It spoke of a place of great evil that... Wait, you're not going there, are you? If you have questions about blindness, you should talk to Pepin. I knew that he gave my grandmother a potion that helped clear her vision, so maybe he can help you too. At the rising. I never much care for poetry. Occasionally I had calls to hire minstrels when the inn was doing well, but that seems like such a long time ago now. What? Uh, oh, yes, uh, well, I suppose you could see what someone else knows. I'm afraid that I've neither heard nor seen a place that matches your vivid description, my friend. Perhaps Kane the Storyteller could be of some help. Oh, yeah. <laughs> That's pretty funny, huh? Get it? Run! Look here! <laughs> this is a place of great anguish and terror, and so serves its master well. Tread carefully, or you may yourself be staying much longer than you had anticipated. Let's see, am I selling you something? No. Are you giving me money to tell you about this? No. Are you now leaving and going to talk to the storyteller who lives for this kind of thing? Yes. <laughs>